Welcome to another edition of Andis Tool Tips on the Web. I'm Ivan Zoot, I'm the Director of Education and Training with the Andis Company, and today we're going to talk about clipper cutting techniques featuring snap on attachment guides or guards. Snap on attachment guides or guards are a common tool to be used with your Andis clipper to help you do great clipper cutting. We're going to share a technique with you today called skip guard tapering. This is a technique that allows you to do great tapered haircuts using guards and eliminates some of the common challenges associated with guards. We know lots of clients come into the shop and they say, hey, give me a number three and blend it in. And they're referring to a three-eighths of an inch guard on the back and sides of the head, scissor cutting the top, layering and blending it together. The problem with that haircut is it's not truly tapered. Because if you put a three-eighths of an inch guard on and you run it up the back and sides of the head, every hair is the same length. It's not truly tapered. Tapering is a form of graduation in which as we move from the perimeter up into the haircut, Every single hair gets just a little bit longer. Now, we see people sometimes who understand this, who start with their smallest guard. They'll put on their little number one guard, their little eighth inch guard, and they'll cut a little bit of the bottom. Then they'll take that off, and they'll move up to their longer guard, their quarter inch, and they'll go a little bit higher. Then they'll take that off, and they'll move up to their three-eighths of an inch guard, and they'll go a little bit higher. And the problem is you end up with steps from the quarter to the three-eighths up the head as you go from one guard to the next. That creates a problem because then you have to take the steps out. The secret is, number one, we're going to start longer. Pick the longest guard you want to have at the blending point. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to use half-inch guard. Start with your half-inch guard. You know the rules. Snap on your guard, guard your guard, and rock your clipper. Come in and rock out, and come in and rock out. Balance and control, two hands on the tool, so that you can control your clipper cutting, working up from below just like that. Now, that was your half inch guard. Your next shortest guard would be your three eighths of an inch. Skip that one. Don't use it. That's where we get the name skip guard tapering. Go to your quarter inch. Use your half, skip your three eighths, go to your quarter. If you play by the numbers, use your four, skip your three, pick up your two. Now, work half as high as you did with the previous guard. Come in and rock out and rock out and rock out and rock out and rock out. If you do that rocking motion just right, where you move from your two, your quarter inch, up into your four, your half inch, it should be a nice smooth transition without a step or a weight line in there. But if you did leave a little weight, what do you do? You go back to the guard you skipped. You skipped your three-eighths, your number three guard. By going back to your three-eighths inch guard, you can take off any transitional mark or line between those two guards. So instead of starting with the shortest guard and working your way up, start with the longest guard. Use a guard, skip a guard, use a guard, and go back to your skipped guard. Use your half, skip your three-eighths, use your quarter, and go back to your three-eighths if you need it to take that jump out. It's called skip guard tapering. Work long to short, use a guard, skip a guard, use a guard, and go back to the skipped guard. It'll work anywhere in the guard set across any size guard, and it's a perfect way to create great tapered results with snap-on attachment guides or guards. Give it a try today. We know you'll like it. For more information on Andis Clippers, Andis Tools and Education, you know where to go, andis.com on the web. We'll see you there, and we'll see you here next time. Thanks, and have a great day.